I just feel so fucking relieved right now because I was hearing so many conflicting reports. And I honestly thought it was going to be the Dylan O'Brien situation again, where Sony wasn't actually going to release the trailer because of the leak. But the moment that the trailer leaked beforehand, I had a good feeling the trailer would actually be released on Monday. But at the same time, when it didn't release this morning, I was really upset and concerned. All I heard was that, you know, yes, they will release the trailer Monday morning and possibly after CinemaCon, but more likely on Tuesday morning. So that's pretty much just what I reported. I even gave a specific time schedule. And I gotta say, guys, it's been a very, very long journey. And I remember when there was a rumor spreading around about how the trailer was coming out back on June 1st. And look, guys, I knew it was false. So I just came out as Spider-Man, which I haven't done in a very long time and tried to warn everyone that it wasn't true. And as always, people gave me a lot of fucking shit. And ever since then, it was just constant trolling from people hyping up fans up, you know, and uh, making them lose hope. And look, I had to come out and debunk those rumors until recently. This is when things changed. And look, I, my apology, I am so sorry that I released specific detailed information that was only meant for fan supporters. But my spider senses were tingling and I had to come out and do this because people would say, oh, you're full of shit. You might have posted out on a fan support page, but how could we tell? We wouldn't have been able to see, it's not public. But also revealing that information clearly after the facts than before, which is a good argument, even though everyone on my fan support page would actually know the truth that I've been talking about this for like, you know, quite a while now. I also had a gut feeling that when a teaser trailer did not release in July, that it would instead be released at the end of August, which is where the first trailer, not the teaser trailer, but the very first official trailer was supposed to release. And I will play the video from my fan support page at the end of this video for all of you to witness this as to what I stated in June of 2021. Also an update on July 24th, talking about how they might release the trailer at the end of August where the first official trailer was supposed to originally be released. Now, I've mentioned this before, but one of the main reasons as to why Sony took their damn time with releasing this is because Kevin Feige, and I also reported on this, is working closely with Sony Pictures, and he was the one that told them to hold the fort, take your time, and don't release that much information. Unfortunately, that led to, you know, fans just being really pissed off and frustrated and we got a leak. And I seriously thought that when that leak happened and I heard that everybody at Sony was like really fucking livid, like trying to find out who leaked what, you know, basically trying to focus on CinemaCon. And, you know, like I said, it's just it was a very difficult situation and they could have, you know, delayed releasing the trailer publicly because of it, because they were just, you know, trying to like. It was a really bad shit show, I'll tell you that right now. And they were more, more focused on opening up an investigation to find out who leaked what, what the hell happened, because I mean, these things do happen, but also when investigations do happen, they find out who it is and everything. It's usually kind of quiet. They don't really, I mean, have you ever heard of like the outcome of, I think maybe I have once in a while, but have you ever heard of an outcome of what happened to somebody who leaks something before the film comes out? Like, you know, like you never really hear about that kind of stuff. So that was basically as to what they were focused on for the day. And all day Sunday, they were trying as best as they can to take down every uh, uh, trailer. And I know some people were just like, that could have been a fake trailer. How are you so sure that that's like the real thing? And I'm like, listen, I read the script. I, I, there's some moments, and not, even though I really couldn't tell what was going on or hear what was going on, there was just one moment specifically where it was in the comics. This is what I can, even though I signed an NDA, I can say this because obviously it's in a trailer, but... The part where Peter Parker goes to Doctor Strange, just like in the comics where he asks him, listen, can you help me have everyone forget doing a spell? I'm like, yo, that is in the script. And obviously I was like, this is something that is definitely not fake. This is legit. 
And the moment that I saw that video, I quickly, I was driving and everything, I quickly went on my phone and I tweeted that the actual trailer actually leaked because how many times have we seen this kind of shit where people go, oh, the trailer leaked and all of a sudden you could just so tell that it was fake. And people actually believed it. Anytime that I tried to debunk it, they were like, oh, you're full of shit. You don't know what you're talking about. This is real. <laughs> I mean, I just can't catch a break. Anyway, so the title of these videos are update on the Spider-Man No Way Home teaser trailer, which was released in June of 2021, followed by the Spider-Man No Way Home teaser trailer has been delayed, uh, which was uploaded on July 24th. So I'm going to play these videos at the end and you could see for yourself as to what I stated. And I honestly just want to personally thank each and every one of you uh, who stood by me, especially my fan supporters and trusted my inside information on the past Spider-Man films. Wow, for like more than a decade now, that, that's a very long time ever since like, you know, back in the day in Spider-Man 3. And for those of you who gave me a really hard time or don't know who I am, I told you I wasn't lying about anything or trying to troll anybody. I've been honest since day one. And all I've been trying to do is just set the record straight and give you guys the honest truth about what's really going on. So take it easy on me because I already had one asshat today insult me. And it's shit like that that makes me not want to give out any information publicly and only from my fan supporters. And that's exactly as to what I'm going to do from now on because I've been proving myself over and over and over again. And for what? I really don't need to at this point because there's just so many of you out there that know who I am and what I do. Why should I give a fuck about what people who don't know who I am say? I really shouldn't. I'm just getting too old for this shit. And I did tweet out earlier that uh, my next video, which hits a day after my birthday, I will release the review of the third script revision from Spider-Man No Way Home. Unfortunately, it is only for fan supporters. It's only exclusively to them, just like I did with the previous two. And trust me, you do not want to miss out on it. Okay? And uh, it was pretty much like, you know, an early birthday gift for me to, you know, um, review it and, you know, give you guys a little bit of... I really can't go into spoiler territory because I signed an NDA, but I could just go as far as to um, what has been improved and some other things that I can talk about. And I know that... <laughs> I tried to do the video over and over again. My sources are just like, yeah, no, you can't say that. You can't say this. And I just, as always, I have to redo it until they say, okay, you, you can use this video. Um, and like I said, I try as best as I can to, you know, talk about certain things about like being too spoilery, you know, especially with the teaser that just came out. But the video is pretty much done. It's all set. And I'm just going to release it um, a day after my birthday next, next week. And um, so next up, uh, they, these are the two uh, entire videos that were exclusively only to fan supporters. Um, you know, where I talk about how the trailer will be releasing at the end of the summer. And once again, seriously, thank you all. Thank you all. And, and um, you know, I, I appreciate the support. So please do me a favor, man. Stay stay safe, stay healthy. Um, so we can all enjoy Spider-Man No Way Home in December. And um, let me know what you guys thought about the trailer. You know, I mean, and I, I knew this was going to happen, but people are already bitching, saying, so we waited this whole fucking time for this bullshit? Like, they didn't really feel anything. I know what they're waiting for. That answer is coming. And I'm going to tell you guys as a freebie, but I honestly think that that answer to your question might be revealed in the second trailer. Not the first next trailer, but the second trailer. And that's all that I'm allowed to say. And I'm not confirming or denying anything. I'm just saying, you know, by then we should know. So until next time on the same spider time, same spider channel, and same spider place, Spidey Woman out. I tried to warn you all that the AMC photo from Reddit was a fake. Yet I had so many call me a liar based on the facts that those online trailer release dates are legit. Yet I made it perfectly clear that online trailer release dates and theatrical dates are two totally different things. Now, what sense does it make for studios to send the theaters the online release dates when it has nothing to do with the, the uh, theatrical? What fucking sense does that make? So, when I went to confront those who tried to call me out on it, the comments were already deleted. I wonder why. Jeez, is it because we didn't get a fucking trailer? Now the question is, 
Where did the release dates of June 1st and June 10th come from? Was it actually from sources or were they just assumptions? Because you have people with huge followings, blue check marks, claiming 100% between those two different dates that the teaser trailer was going to be released on those days. But guess what? They were wrong! Not only that, but they didn't really bother to admit that they were completely wrong and keep making excuses that their sources got the release dates wrong. Or, this is even better, because Sony Pictures found out that everyone was expecting it. So you know what they did? They changed their whole plan for worldwide release because it got leaked out. The dates got leaked out. We can't do it. Pick another date. Are you fucking kidding me right now? You think they give a rat's ass? The worst part is that those that are gullible enough to believe them to begin with are actually believing their bullshit and still depending on them for information. Do yourselves a favor. If you're going to continue to keep buying their bullshit, please hang yourselves with a fucking cordless phone. Because at this point, you honestly deserve to be trolled. Don't you get it? Their only motive is to get clicks and followers, and it's working. Especially since they have blue check marks, which at this point proves that even these people aren't reliable. Yet, I guess people feel secure on trusting them for, for basically false information, empty promises followed by runarounds and bullshit fucking excuses. Look, this is the truth. These people are 100% full of fucking shit. Let's get real here for a moment. The main reasons as to why people assumed, yeah, A-S-S, asses, that the trailer was going to be released on June 1st was because it was Tom Holland's birthday. Simply because Marvel Studios released the Shang-Chi trailer on Simu's birthday. Yet people seem to forget that Sony Pictures is in charge of distributing the film, not Marvel Studios. People assumed that the trailer would be released on June 10th because of Sony Pictures' um, Peter Rabbit sequel that was coming out this weekend. Whatever sources they claim to have had is just as reliable as a tinfoil fucking hat. Because truth be told, okay, this is coming from me. I've been doing this for a long time. Listen very closely. Sony Pictures was never going to release the trailer on those dates. Period. And don't say I didn't try to warn you on more than one occasion here. I honestly was not even going to get involved in the first place. Until people kept asking me if these rumors were true. And you know, usually I ignore it. And it just pissed me off that these people with blue fucking check marks were flat out fucking lying to the people. And then making lame excuses. And these fucking sheep keep buying their fucking bullshit. Look, this is why I decided to do this YouTube channel in the first place. Because of people like this. You have these fans who really want legit information. I'm just so sick and fucking tired of these trolls. Trolling fans who just want to know what the truth is. I bet you that the person who created that fake AMC photo on Reddit had a fucking blast when he literally tricked everyone into thinking that it was real. Yet every manager I confronted at AMC from three different locations confirmed that they have never seen an image like that and confirmed that they were fakes. As well as constantly confirming that they have not received the teaser trailer, um, which I feel bad that I have to keep asking them and I'm tired of doing it. Listen, honestly, there is no reason to obsess a fake teaser trailer because they never reveal too much and it's just a taste of what's to come. And I have an update on when we can expect a first and second trailer which reveals a lot more and what you all should be really excited about. Yes, the teaser trailer will break the internet and coming real soon. But get ready for man babies to cry about how they didn't reveal too much and how short it was Yet clearly they have no idea on the concept of what a teaser is. 
So here's when we can expect that first trailer. From what I heard, they might actually release the first trailer at the end of the summer and second trailer in October. They might hold off on that first trailer until October, but I think that would be a little too late for a first trailer being that the film is being released in December. Sony definitely wants a Spider-Man No Way Home trailer attached to Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Just a reminder that online trailer releases come out first, okay? And then head to theaters. And it usually takes a while because at this point, the Eternals trailer is not even in theaters yet. And they released that trailer on May 24th, and it's now June 11th. And I am done harassing movie theater employees on if they have the teaser trailer, which they confirm they don't have it for this weekend, unfortunately. You're just all going to have to wait. And yes, I could reveal a specific online trailer release date, but I was told not to. Because I can't have that much attention drawn on me because I signed an NDA. Right now, this teaser trailer is just... <laughs> It's all over the place, and Sony and Marvel are on a lookout as to who's leaking what, and listen, I have to be very careful, because the moment that shit hits the fan is when the fan support will end, and I have to do it to save my own ass, because, I mean, I I'm worried, you know, and I want to be able to read that third script revision so I can do a review on it, because I heard it was improved, and look, there's no issue if a movie theater employee confirms to me if they receive the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, because obviously that comes after the online trailer release, which studios want to keep a fucking secret. And look, just don't trust anything on Reddit or those blue checkmark asshats who claim to have sources. And they're just relying on pure speculation, as I pointed out before. Look, be patient, because good things come for those who wait. And I promise you guys, teaser trailer is coming real soon along with movie merchandising and movie teaser posters that are hitting theaters real soon okay so just hang in there web out or in this case chill out so until next time on the same spider time same spider channel and same spider place spidey webin out the title of this video says it all and yes this isn't the first time that the teaser trailer has been delayed yet the moment i stated that People were still asking me if the trailer was arriving the next day on the 22nd. Why do you ask questions to which you already should know the answers to? Which is why I didn't even bother to reply to those who were asking me that question. I mean, it's just beyond ridiculous right now. So prior to that, yeah, people were asking me about the 22nd. And I said to myself, shit, it must be another one of those fake trailers of release date on it. And yep, it was. <laughs> At this point, I just don't feel bad for people who are just so fucking gullible to believe anything. I just know at this point, everyone's just so desperate for this teaser trailer that they're willing to believe anything, which puts them at the hands of these trolls that keep fucking with them. And you know what? At this point, they deserve to be trolled when they just aren't using their common sense. Like, the main fact that the Japanese teaser came from, you know, practically the same YouTube channel uh, that faked a release date a month prior which is a brand new channel that just started uploading trailers months ago. Come on, guys. So, at what point was the teaser trailer supposed to come out? Well, remember when the legit Sony Pictures Twitter and YouTube channels were uploading these teasers with that glitch? Well, it was supposed to be shortly after that. I just got so pissed off about this entire situation that I also went off on that cosmic wonder guy on his YouTube channel who's always contributing to false information citing a recent run times as a source on how long the Spider-Man No Way Home teaser trailer will be when in fact, facts gentlemen, facts ladies, it was for Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3. If he managed to check the dates on there as well as the other films listed, it's from 2008. I mean, this is just fucking comedy gold at this point. I get it, the footage was a little fast, but before you decide to cite something as a source, please just make sure you look at it before claiming, oh, we found out the runtime, here it is, you know. <laughs> fucking idiot. I'm sorry. He also is the one who claimed that a uh, theater in his area in LA has had the teaser trailer over a month in, in, in that theater, which is 100% fucking lie.
okay? Sony Pictures doesn't specifically send out trailers um, to select theaters and holds it there for months. That's just not the way it fucking works. It's a worldwide distribution to all theaters. And I don't know why this person or perhaps the manager he spoke to at his theater lied, which I don't see the point in it. But it's most likely that he stated that for fucking clicks. Go figure. I mean, a lot of shit that he reports on that channel, I've been watching a few of his videos, are just bullshit, bullshit, and bullshit. And, you know, it's just when you start, like, claiming it as a source, I'm sorry, but you're just clickbaiting fans at that point. And look, the teaser trailer has been ready for quite a while now, so the question is, why the delay? I also have other updates that fans will not be happy about. Also, this bullshit rumor going around the teaser trailer has been delayed because some Yahoo leaked out the teaser trailer release dates is bullshit. Because no one has made an accurate release date. No one. It was just a bunch of trolls making up these fake fucking release dates. And if you honestly believe that these studios delayed the teaser trailer because someone leaked out a release date, then please, hang yourself off a fucking cordless phone. Do it now. So this part of the video will be for fan supporters only, and a reminder that when you see this on the screen where it says join the fan support to watch the full video, it doesn't mean this video ends, it just means it's being cut off and reserved for fan supporters only that will have access to the entire video. You can actually uh, have access to these videos on my Daily Beagle Spidey Facebook page, and the links to join are always in the comment sections and in the title description area. I will discuss as to what's really going on and a new timeline on when to expect a teaser trailer, as well as the bad news that fans are really going to be upset about. Also, I am going on vacation starting on Spider-Man Day, so there won't be a video for that week. Okay, so the main reasons for the delay is because Marvel Studios and Sony Pictures are coordinating with how to release and promote their products. Although Kevin Feige is advising Sony Pictures on what to do, it's ultimately up to them on what they want to do because Marvel Studios has no control over it, because Sony Pictures is in charge and in control of distributing. However, they are working as a team and Sony is actually playing ball surprisingly. Yes, there are other factors involved including the Delta variant. However, that's not what's stopping the teaser trailer delay because it's just a teaser and not a full trailer. What fans will be very upset about is that Spider-Man No Way Home is in danger of being delayed until 2022. Right now, things are not looking too good. And honestly, I think it was just a really bad idea to stop the social gapping in theaters. And if things get worse, which the cold and flu season is also coming soon, and things get bad again, it means the Sony Pictures will have no choice but to delay the film. They know for a fact this film will bank big time. I could personally guarantee it. And if theaters shut down again, or go back to social gapping and not full sold out shows, they might delay it. That's the bad news. So, originally, the first trailer was supposed to be released at the end of August, and yeah, it would be nice if the teaser trailer was released on August 1st, Spider-Man Day, but I honestly don't know what the uh, new release date is, and probably won't for a while. They're really trying to keep it close to the best. All I know is that Sony definitely wants the Spider-Man trailer attached to Venom, let there be carnage, so it could be either the you know teaser trailer or the first official trailer which i'm hoping that's what they do and look sony pictures is fully aware of how fans are getting really impatient but remember they're trying to play it smart with the advice of kevin feige and promoting other marvel studios projects so until next time on the same spider time same spider channel and same spider place spidey well now thanks it tiger you just hit the jackpot Woohoo!